Uh, maybe we can pry the door open with it? And then just mm. throw it away? Let's try. I don't want to kill Lydia, I don't want to slice her open. Maybe the door's open now? Or oh, yeah, that's <laughs> Steak knife. Oh, oh. Nah. Stop. Huh. It's locked. Oh no. Yeah, try the knife. Yeah. Nah. Oh. No? Oh. Okay. Oh wait, the painting! There was something behind the oh, painting. Oh yeah! Oh, maybe that's what he meant. It wasn't Lydia, it was her he meant. When you're done with the girl, yeah. slice her open. <laughs> Look at her insides. Hmm. There's something and here. And she just presumed it was Lydia. Weird. There's a key here. It says it's the key to 2A. Yeah, it was her. It was her. Oh, <laughs> <Lydia>. good. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, frankly, Alex was just assuming, of course. So, yeah. Uh. Hey. Hey, Alex. Hey, birthday girl. Where'd you get to? Uh, uh Sophia? Fuck. Jesus. Sophia, it is not my birthday. Why are you here? Hey, you invited us, silly. Already drunk, I see. I've only had one Bloody Mary. Gavin was looking for you. Oh god, what? Gavin's here? Sure. Why wouldn't he be? Pretty sure I saw you with your hands down his hands earlier, so you know. I'm surprised you've forgotten. Oh, great, Carly too! Fuck this! Gavin is not here! You're not here! None of this is here! None of this is real! I'm on a fucking train, for god's sake! Whoa, Alex, chill. Have you taken something? I say, yeah, don't worry about it. Alex is just being her weird hysterical self. Fuck off, Carly. You don't need to be rude to Alex on her birthday. She's being rude to us! She's just stressed, aren't you, babe? Yes! I'm stressed! I need to get to the bottom of this. Okay... Random party crowd! <laughs> a green balloon. It's just there. Only balloon in the room. Why does this seem so familiar? Can sure. you use a knife? Why not? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Maybe, uh, well, we'll pick it up first. Maybe we can use it afterwards. My trusty portable radio. Only now it's on a train when it should be in my apartment. But yeah, you're right. Maybe we can... I don't want to pop oh, it. Oh, okay. She does not want Okay. Locked. Oh, <laughs> what? we're finally locked in. Yeah, do we? We don't have the key, of course. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, no. The key is on the outside, obviously. Isaiah likes being in charge of the music. I'll leave it to him. I don't want to talk to these people. They're not meant to be here. Sophia, can I talk to you for a second? Sure. What's up? Alone. I I can't leave, really. Carly's a bit drunk and you know how she gets. Fuck off. I heard that. We're all friends here, Alex. You can say anything. Okay, okay, look. Where are we? Your apartment, dickhead. Where else? No, we're on a train. Okay, fuck it. I'm asleep, obviously. You need to suspend your disbelief, Al. This'll all go smoother if you just kick back and accept it. And hey, Gavin was around earlier. Why don't you go find him? Gavin and I broke up months ago. I don't want to see him. Alex, honey, what are you talking about? We broke up on... on my birthday. It's your birthday today. The big 25, or is it 26? 27. Definitely. Look at her. She's no spring chicken. 27 Club A, Alex? Gonna take a hit? Snort a line? Shoot up? Go out in a blaze of fucking glory? Throw it all away? Yo, Isaiah. You got any blow? Nah, not for you. Clean and sober. Remember? Well, as close as can be. Carly, what the fuck are you talking about? Oh, you fucking know what, Alex. You think you're so much better than us? Always have. 
Just because you've gone through some shit? Just because you had, I don't know, struggles? That's enough, Carly. Carly, why the fuck are you even here? Why did you even come? You clearly don't want to see me. You know what, Alex? I came for Gavin. For fucking Gavin. And you know... Carly, shut the fuck up. Ignore her, Alex. She's drunk. No. You know what? The last time this played out, I never got to say my fucking piece. And I'm done. I'm fucking done taking people's shit this time. I'm on my way to see Kat. Remember her? The girl you fucking ostracized, Carly? And we're going to chill on a fucking island and find pottery and meet Lily fucking Cassell. And your shit heel douche canoe behavior will bring me the fuck down on my birthday. Not again. Whoa, okay ladies, I'm gonna go head over here now. Okay, we'll well, change come on, the music. Alex. Tell me how it is. Tell me how you really feel. It's been five years and you're still not over Gavin. That's fucked, Carly. Move on. Open your eyes. Jesus Christ. Alex, don't go down this road. Hey, fuck you, Alex. Alex, seriously, walk away. I'll talk to Carly, just come back later. Fuck you both. Hey, listen, I'll talk to Carly, I'll get her to leave. It's your party, and you don't deserve this. But could you do me a favor? Fine. Sure, whatever. Put this somewhere safe. It keeps falling out of my purse. Okay. That's not strange at all. Hmm, is that what really happened? <laughs> I don't know. Actually on her birthday, maybe? Maybe partly. Apparently we got her inhaler. Sophia's yeah. inhaler. She asked me to look after it. Okay, can we leave now? Yes. Yes. Why do I feel so fucking sick? Oh, my chest is so tight again. Ah. Huh? The music stopped. Oh, that was that was only happening when we went through the tunnel, was it? Hmm. Oh, I don't want to go in here. What the oh. fuck? Where'd everybody go? We got the bags again. Yes, and a party hat. Fuck yeah. it. Yeah. Why not? I won't go rooting through someone's luggage without good reason. Are you sure? A huge bag. Someone's luggage. Okay. Huh? That sounds like my old ringtone. I think it's coming from the other carriage. Oh, someone answer that bloody phone. That's driving me a distraction over here. Sorry, sorry. I think the ringing's coming from in here. Well, that is your compartment. Yeah. I don't know where it is, though. Um, is it still ringing? Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, here we go. There's a phone stuck in the crack. This is my old cell phone. The one I got rid of a few weeks ago. And it's ringing. Withheld number. Oh god, not again. Hello? Hello, little porcelain girl. Oh, fuck off. Not now. Don't you dare hang up. Don't you fucking dare. I can see you right now, you know. I doubt that. I'm on... A train. Cabin 1C. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. How are you here? I'm always watching you, little porcelain girl. Always. Can't miss a chance to see those titties or maybe your sweet... I am going to find you, and I am going to cut your cock off and shove it down your throat, you disgusting excuse for a human being. I am going to make you watch in the mirror as you choke on your own dick, and then I'll slice your fucking throat if you ever, ever call me again. 
will find out who you are, and you will die. Well, okay then. And here I was about to invite you over to my compartment to party, you know, 1A, if you got the balls for it. Oh, this guy, this fucking guy. Oh shit. Oh, All damnation. I'm sorry, lass. I should have knocked. No, no, it's fine. I'm just a bit jumpy. I, uh, held you through the door. Nuisance calls, is it? Yeah. Dude's been calling me for the past few months. Pretty sure my ex put him up to it. It's been happening since we broke up. Ah. Surely would you do a thing like that? Well, I don't know. It makes no sense. Gavin wasn't... isn't like that, I thought. And he denies it. But it's too much of a coincidence, right? I, Maybe. Could be anyone, though, really. Old Don believes in coincidence. Still, at least you're well away and safe on old Gloria, eh? No, he said he's here. He said he's on the fucking train. Well, that can't be. Unless your boy's a big English fellow with a stick up his ass. <laughs> no, no, it's not playing. Well then. <laughs> I mean, I suppose it could be Lydia. What did you just say? Oh, I was kidding. I don't really think my harasser is an eight-year-old girl. You've seen young Lydia tonight? Yeah. Why wasn't I meant to disturb her? Oh, uh, no, it's fine. I just, uh, I'll look out for her, you know. Where did you see her? In the next carriage. In her compartment. Oh. Well, right you are, then. I should just go and check on her. See if she needs anything. Wait, the guy told me to meet him in 1A. Well, there's no one in 1A. I think I'd have noticed. Well, bye. Jesus. Okay, Alex. Don't lose it at this juncture. Nothing unexpected is happening. You know what to do. Roll with it. See it through. It's okay. Maybe it's a little more intense than you were expecting. A little more real. But you can do this. It'll be worth it. Nothing comes for free. I guess I should head to 1A. No point putting it off. Okay. Is it Rob? <laughs> uh, well, I mean, we have the steak knife, so I guess we'll go kill him. I mean, honestly, uh, Rob could be the one... You know, disturbing, like uh, making those disturbing phone calls. Yeah, seriously though, because apparently he knows everything about her. So, or like knows. Yeah, like he was there during that time when she was uh, getting the calls. So you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He would know about them, and it might be him. And he definitely knows when Gavin broke up with her and all that. Yeah. Uh, I kind of want to go and see if we can find Don and Lydia's cabin just for fun. That's carriage too. Uh, the compartment I need is in this carriage. Fine, you won't even let me. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna explore. <sighs> okay. But damn, I jumped when he opened the compartment. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I told Rob. Hey, Alex. <sighs> Remember the nuisance caller? You mean Gavin? It's not Gavin, Rob. We've been over this. You know what I mean. It is doing. It has to be. So you said. Many times. He told me to come here. Oh, now he's trying to fuck with both of us. Great. I don't think you have anything to worry about, Rob. Alex, I've been so worried about you. Um, why? Hmm. Just, you know, everything that's been going on with you. Gavin, your father, the stalker. I care about you a lot, Alex. I've told you about my daughter, right? Yeah. Yeah, you have. You remind me of her, you know? Yeah, I know. I'm sorry, Rob. Missing. Disappeared. I never did find out who took her. If she's still alive. I know. I know. It must be terrible. My dad... My real dad, I mean. 
He walked out on my mom when I was six months old. She never found out what happened to him. Keith raised me like his own. He loved me like a daughter. I called him dad. But I always wondered, you know? And now Keith's gone too. <laughs> Look at us. We're a right pair, aren't we? Yeah. Yeah, we are. <laughs> I'm so worried, Alex. When I was in your apartment earlier and, and you were just lying there on the couch, it didn't look like you were breathing. I thought... I thought I'd lost you. No, I was... Wait. Wait, what? No. It's making me say things I don't want to say. What? What is? The worm. The worm inside my head. Burrowing away inside my brain. Wriggling like a grub. Rob, stop it. Listen, focus. Why were you in my apartment? I came in. I came in and I watched you sleep. No, stop. I watched you sleep. I just watched. I didn't do anything. I always just watch. I watch over you. I can't let them harm you. None of those filthy fucking men. Not Gavin, not Lang, not any of them. I know what they want from girls like you. You're my little porcelain doll, Alex. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Oh, Rob, no. Why? Why? It wasn't me. It was Gavin. He's a no good, dirty boy. He just wants to use you, wants your body. You have to keep away from him, Alex. Keep away from all the dirty little boys. No. I've been watching over you all the time. And now the worm wants to eat my eyes. Stop me watching. They're trying to take my porcelain doll away from me and I won't let them. Rob, are you the one who's been calling me? Is that what you're saying? If it hadn't been me, it would have been someone else. Someone actually intent on doing you harm. I've scared you away from those dirty boys, haven't I? I've kept you safe. I've shown you how vulnerable you are. That is all kinds of fucked up. All fucking kinds. I trusted you, Rob. I let you in. I had... Uh, I had no idea. Look, they're getting to you. They're trying to take you away from me. Who is? You're not making any fucking sense. Who's taking me away from you? The dead that sleep beneath the earth. The court of the charnel house king. The worms eat the flesh, the birds eat the worms, the augurs watch the birds, the cycle of carrion rots its way towards infinity. Now, stay here with me, where it's safe. Uh. Okay. I was just wondering if this was all pictures of Alex. Oh. <laughs> Photos of me. Hundreds and hundreds of photos. Some of them are from inside of my apartment. How long has this been going on? I don't even want to look at these any longer. Hello? Don't you fucking touch my daughter, you tainted Jezebel! Ah. Uh. Okay? <laughs> My neighbor, Rob. My stalker, Rob. You think you know someone. Um, well, I guess we can do something with it since we can do this. Uh, use a knife, maybe? Yeah, just use everything. Nah. Okay. No? Okay. Nah. Nah. She says not really casually, like, this is not like a life-threatening situation. She's like, <laughs> nah. 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 Okay. You're also gonna hear later if you watch it afterwards that Rob's he he really sounds like he's obsessed or whatever. Like he sounds creepy. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. Don't you Oh yeah yeah yeah. What? I didn't mean to touch her, I didn't mean to touch her. Okay. <laughs> I it's meant a porcelain doll. It seems like I think uh... it has my hair my actual hair oh my god 
Yeah, no, I didn't. Wow. I, I was I was trying to touch her with the, with the ticket and then I missed. Nah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I I don't know what else to click. I mean, I guess Rob. Window. I'd rather not jump out the window unless I have to. Okay. Okay. Rob, please let me pass. Please. We can forget this ever happened. I won't tell anyone. Tell anyone what? That tried to protect you. Why would anyone judge me for that? Rob, you need help. You need to talk to someone. I'll help you. I'm serious. No. I have to keep you safe. You're not going anywhere. Um. Nah. Um. I guess we'll kill Rob. Um. Well, try it. Oh. What are you doing? Let me through, or I'll cut you. I swear to God. No, you won't. Don't fucking. Try me, Robert. You only call me Robert when you're upset. Well, yeah, I am fucking upset. I am upset at what you've done to me, at what you've made me endure. And why? To protect me? If you'd seen what I've seen, you'd know why, Alex. You'd know. Then tell me. Tell me what you've seen. No! I have to protect you! I could kill for a cigarette right now. Oh, um. <laughs> I'd like to say smoking is my only vice, but it's not. Rob, um, I'm going to smoke, okay? I just need to relax. Okay. Smoking will kill you, Alex. <laughs> Jesus Christ, at least let me have this one thing. You can't protect me from everything. Okay, fine, fine. Okay. Um. What am I doing? Why can't I not? No inventory. Where did you go? No. <laughs> what? This could work if it was lit. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> like. <laughs> What? Do we have a lit cigarette now in our inventory? Oh, that's true! Yes, you yes. need to rob. Yes. Do you want a toke? I don't smoke. It's Why did that rhyme? surprisingly calming. <laughs> you should try it. No, I don't. <laughs> oh, my fucking eye! I'm, I'm blind! You fucking eye! Screw you, Rob. Rob, I feel for you, I really do, but nobody harasses me and gets away with it. What were you doing in there, lass? My stalker, my my neighbor, Rob. He's in there, I, I heard him. He might need medical attention, I can't go back in there. He was, oh god. Now slow down, lassie. Tell old Don what's what. Rob. Robert Crow, he's my neighbor and one of my best friends. So I thought. He's the one who's been calling me, encouraging me to think it was my ex, Gavin. He put the idea in my head. Oh god, it's so obvious now I think about it. But but Rob's not a bad guy. He's not okay. He's not okay. He was trying to protect me. <sighs> no then. Sounds like he's in need of help. But that doesn't mean that you need to put up with this nonsense, or let it hurt you. Yeah, I know. But I heard him. Can you at least go in and check on him, see if he needs first aid? I don't rightly think I can, lassie. Can I? And I think that you know why. He won't be in there if you go in, will he? Aye. You understand this place better than most of us did when we first got here. I... I think I do. This is the sepulchre, right? Aye. Oh, Gloria. <laughs> the engine of death. Only... Only... Tonight we make our last stop. It's all thanks to you. You and Lang. I know, but... I 
don't understand. Why us? The island wants you, lassie. You and the doctor. Us? We're just the staff. You two are the special ones. But you're setting us all free tonight. One way or another. Who is us? Me and, well, you'll see soon enough. You should go and check on your friends. I heard something of a ruckus down in carriage too. Oh, and Lassie. I'm sorry about all this. He locked the door. He locked himself in. <clears throat> I have no idea what the sepulchre is. I presume it's a real thing. Locked. I can hear snoring. Lang's sleeping through all of this. I envy him. Alright, Lang's asleep. Uh, a small room or monument cut in rock or, b or built in st of stone in which a dead person is laid or buried. Ah, okay. So it's like a grave in a sense. Yeah. A special form of... A tomb, okay. maybe. Oh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like a tomb, rather. Okay. Alright. Well, there's a lot of death. Okay, those are ruckus. I don't know what that means. Where are we going? Huh. It's locked. Hmm. They sound... Tway? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um. All right, they're back. I guess we talked to us, 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 Isaiah, whatever. Yeah, sure. Hey, Isaiah. Isaiah. Hey, Al. How you doing? I'm... I'm surprisingly okay. Man, really? You and Gavin were really going at it. We... we were? Yeah. I've never seen a girl cuss out her boyfriend like that. Well, ex-boyfriend, I guess now. Oh, Oh, yeah, that was tonight. Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. That was tonight? Like, half an hour ago? Yeah, are you sure you're okay? Yeah, time's... time's a little fucked up for me right now. Don't worry about it. Alright, Sophia took Carly into the other room. Maybe you should, I don't know, try and patch things up, if you want. Last time, I left it. I blamed them both. I was so sure. So sure. My friends would never talk to me about it. Or maybe I just wouldn't listen. I need to find out what really happened. Maybe tonight I can make things right. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. I presume we can ask, ask all of it, but what do you want to go first? Uh, what happened? So, in your opinion... In my opinion? She was all over him. Gavin tried to get rid of her. She wasn't having any of it. You walked in? You walked in at the worst time, right? I don't know. All I'm saying is, from where I was standing, your boy didn't look like he was having a good time of it. I wondered that. I always did. Gavin admitted it. He said he wanted to end it too, that he wanted to see other people. He never defended himself. You didn't really give him a chance to. You kicked him right out. Oh, I mean afterwards. In the weeks after. Wait, that hasn't happened here yet. Never mind. Girl, you're making my head spin with this. Anyway, my advice is go talk to Carly. She's sobered up. She'll tell you Gavin did nothing wrong. Okay. In a bit. He's gone, right? Yeah. Your boy bounced after you threw that cup at him. Real mood killer. Okay. Don't make me feel worse about it. Hey. It was kind of funny, really. At least it was just a plastic cup. Last I saw, he was headed off. Maybe you should call him. Tomorrow. I will tomorrow. Have you seen Rob about? Don't know the dude. My neighbor. From across the hall? Oh, nah. He ain't been by that I've seen. Okay. Isaiah, 
you remember those nuisance phone calls? Huh? No, you ain't mentioned that to me. Oh, shit. Yeah. They start in a few days. <sighs> what? Nothing. Existential crisis. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Man, that's the theme of the night, all right. Okay. Fuck it. I'm gonna go talk to Carly. Like I said, she's next door with Sophia. Okay, cool. Have a good night, Isaiah. Peace. Peace. Okay. Aw, uh, yes.